Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. I'm very happy to be connecting with you today. It's Tuesday, it's the 7th of November, if my memory serves me well. Seeing as yesterday was the 6th, I think that makes this the 7th. I'm coming at you today from Master Shaw's Tao Healing Center. And today I'm going to be focusing on three sacred tones for health and wellness. One of the keys about this is doing it more than once. But I'm going to spend quite a bit of time on it today. We're going to practice a long time. And before we get into that, of course, we'll set that up because I really want everybody to feel the benefits of it. One of the messages I received uh, in checking in with Heaven is to say, I've been gone for a month, I've come back, I want to serve uh, everybody that is interested in being served through through the wisdom, the guidance, and the blessings that Master Shah has, has brought to humanity and, and through me as a teacher, I want to serve you the most and the best. How can I do that, Heaven? And what I received is, Paul, you need to do a lot more practice. You need to spend more time teaching the basics and teaching the practices. And so we're going to be doing that. Because what everybody needs most, of course, is to feel better, to feel happier, to feel healthier, to clear their blockages. And uh, I tend to talk a lot, and so I will do my best to narrow that down a bit and uh, minimize that and spend a lot more time on practices. Because that's truly where you're going to see the greatest results. And I know even based on my own history that... Um, most of us, at least for me, have difficulty finding time to do practice on a consistent basis. And I'm guessing that most of you are similar. We all have very full lives and you carve out a span of time to come see me, which I'm greatly appreciative of. But really, the reason I come here is to share the wisdom and to teach you how to self-heal. And so if you don't take the time to do the practice, not going to have very good results. So I'm going to spend more time practicing with you in hopes that makes a difference to where you say, wow, this made a difference. I will do more of it. That's my hopes. Okay? So yes, I have a nice gold background. I just wanted to, to shower gold light upon all of you. So let's see who's joined us today. Welcome Kathy Arnold. Welcome Sharon Dodd. Aloha Luna. Welcome Tony Seymour. Uh, welcome also Jennifer Crest Smith. Welcome and aloha Tony Homradka. And welcome uh, uh, Janice Crosby. Aloha Kristen Strachan. Welcome Kristen Rojas. And aloha Erica Rimmer. Welcome also to um, Elder Pamela. Welcome Aspasia. Welcome Chris to Vanessa and Kate Nicole. Aloha. Aloha also to Sam Swignam. And Rian. Great to see you, Rian. Congratulations on your new marriage. Tell Ferris I said hi. Uh, excuse me, Alosha. Um, and welcome all to, to Sarah. Aloha, Crystal. <coughs> welcome, Amanda and Diana. Victoria, I got to meet uh, Diana in um, Belgium. It's nice to see a lot of new faces there that I had only met on Facebook. Welcome also to Shelly and Atena. Welcome, Ilona. I haven't seen you in a while, Ilona. Good to see you. And welcome also Roshan. I got to see Ilona there, meet her for the first time in person. And Ma Regina David, aloha. Welcome Liza. <coughs> and if I missed anyone, forgive me. So <coughs> I hope that you will enjoy uh, today. As I said, I'm not going to talk a lot. I'm going to do more practice. But I do have to give a baseline teaching on the, these three tones, um, some of the history of them. And actually, I'm going to do a, a soul reading to learn more about the history because uh, I'll tell you what I know, but there is a lot that has not been shared about these tones. And so I'll just ask Kevin and see what they tell us about it. That should be fun too. And then we'll actually do the practices. And one of the beautiful things about this practice is that it is um, very easy to remember. You might have to write down the three tones. I'll give you the phonetic lettering of it. Uh, and it's very easy to do. Okay, so all you got to do is do it and you'll see the results. Let us start by connecting heart to heart, soul to soul. 
Welcome also to Jagit. Welcome to Alicia J. Kwan. Welcome Heather McNee. <clears throat> so we place our hands in the Soul Light Soul Service hand position. Welcome Jasmine Hoggins. Hoggins. <clears throat> and welcome also to Denise De La Cruz, Julia, Samaistra. Welcome. Drop the left hand in front of the heart center. And the right hand remains pointed towards heaven. So it's just like a prayer position, but we drop the left hand in front of the heart center. And this is called a heart mudra uh, hand position. Close your eyes. Relax your thoughts, your mind, your breath. Fully be present. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out through your lower abdomen. Bring your thoughts, your mind, and your breath into your lower abdomen. Well, welcome also Jasmine. Welcome Chenille. Another deep breath in. Really release the day. It doesn't matter if you're beginning or ending the day or somewhere in the middle. Just be present. Welcome Liz Hernandez. Welcome Susan Birchmore. One more time. Deep breath in. And release. I will invite in the beings of light to join us. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine, the Tao, and the source, Dear all of the beings of light serving the planet of the light side, including our beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, all Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, beloved Kuan Yin, Namo Amitofu, Medicine Buddha, Happy Buddha, and dear all of the angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifu, saints, Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, all heavens, animals, we love you all, honor you all respect you all. We ask you to please be present at this time. We ask most humbly, most sincerely for your blessings in today's practice. When we practice with these three tones to assist us with releasing the blockages that inhibit us from having good health. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, we love you, we honor you, respect you. As we chant this mantra to open our hearts and souls, to ground us, to connect us, we ask that you continue to serve all souls. And we invite all souls in all universes to chant with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we have some new faces today. Uh, I'm going to chant a mantra called Love, Peace and Harmony for a few minutes. It is a connection mantra, a healing mantra, a mantra that I hope that you take advantage of. Uh, Kristen uh, Rojas is an is assistant of mine and she may post the links to access it. So keep an eye on, on her uh, postings. Uh, for all who wish to chant with me, please do so. This is a blessing. You can make a request. We will chant two rounds to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. Let us begin. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula. Lula Ali Lula Lula Ali Lula I love my heart and soul I love all humanity Join hearts and souls together Love, peace and harmony, love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li. Lula, li, lula. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. 
love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you to the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony. You can download this song complimentary. Uh, it's sung in English, Mandarin, Chinese, and Seoul language, but it's been translated into 43 languages worldwide, probably in your native language, whatever it may be. And you can download it at lovepeaceharmony.org. It's recommended you do so. Sing it and share it. So before we get into the teachings, I want to acknowledge who's come in. Uh, if I haven't mentioned your name, excuse me. Welcome, Alicia. Welcome, Jagit. Welcome, Jasmine Huggins. Welcome, Rashan Dal. Aloha, Denise de la Cruz. Welcome, Julius Maestra. Uh, welcome also to Sunil Jagdish and Liz Hernandez. Aloha, Susan. Welcome, Barbara Moore. Uh, welcome also, Lisa. Welcome, Angelina. Aloha, Krista Mendoza. Christy Mendoza. Welcome also to uh, Gary. Welcome, Renee. And M. A. Drade, Dan Marino, Aloha, Heather Clem, and welcome Raul, welcome uh, Serenjit, welcome Najma and Donna Bawana, welcome also to uh, Najma Said, and I think that's everybody. Welcome also Ro Robin. If I missed your name, please forgive me. Welcome also to Sima Aj. So thank you all so much for joining today. I will offer a short teaching, uh, five to ten minutes, and then we're going to do this practice. We're going to do about 15 minutes of this practice, okay? So I want you to start paying attention to your emotions and your physical body, your energy levels, okay? Uh, start giving numbers to it during this teaching. Pay attention, okay? Do I have a headache? Do I have a migraine? Do I have stomach problems? Is my back in pain? Uh, am I depressed? Um, do I have a toothache? Uh, am I feeling anxious? Right? Um, because as we do this practice, it will clear blockages in three major areas of your body. That's why there's three tones. And you do this practice for 15 minutes, it's highly unlikely you will not have positive results. So I will explain first, then we do the practice. You make the numbers. I don't need to see your numbers. You can post them if you want. You know, I had a back ache and it was an 8 on a 10 scale, and then after the practice, it's, you know, a 2. I, I suspect that will happen. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I was in a very anxious place, and now I'm this number. And, uh, and then shortly after the practice, I will offer a brief explanation as to why it makes this big of a difference, okay? So, what is it? What are these three tones? They are Wong R Hong, W E N G Wong. You can and should write it down because you're going to be doing this practice on your own afterwards. W E N G Wong. Repeat. Wong 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 Wong. Yeah, that's fine, Kate. Feeling very tired. What's your number? You know, how how tired are you? Exhausted, right? I'm a ten. I'm exhausted. Uh, uh, you know, a zero, I'm fully recharged. Whatever works for you. Welcome also Patricia, Patricia coming in from Sedona, Arizona, unless she's moved. Um, Wong is the first sound power. Wong is for the upper part of the body. Okay, so from the uh, diaphragm up, where's your diaphragm? That's at the, uh, the point where your ribs come together in the center below your chest plate. And that's where the diaphragm ends. So from there up, the sound power of Wong vibrates that area. R, R, R. It's, it's A H R. You know, A H or A R. I've, heard, I've seen it pronounced both ways. Um, this is the center of the body. Okay. This is from the uh, belly button to that point where the ribs meet, just below the um, the uh, center chest plate. All right, and so that's that center of your body. This vibrates the entire area where your kidneys are, your liver, your 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 intestines. Many, many, many activity in this area. The uh, so write that down. The first one again is Wong W E N G. Okay, that's the upper part of the body. The next one is R R R A R or A H R, whatever is easiest for you to remember. And that's from the diaphragm down to the belly button. And then the bottom part of the body is Hong. H-O-N-G. Hong. Hong. Repeat. 
So that vibrates the lower part of the body. Okay, so write those down. Wong R Hong. Why do I say write it down? Because I'm teaching this once and you need to practice it. We're going to do it for a long time together. And that will change your thinking about how simply chanting three tones can have such a positive effect. Uh, thank you, Kristen, for writing it down. And then um, you can do it later on your own. Now, why does it work? We're going to incorporate four powers. Sound power, Wang Ar Hong, that's the mantra, sound, okay? Body power, uh, I'm going to push the camera away when I'm ready, stand up and show you how to place your hands in the right position. So you can do this standing or sitting. Um, you're only allowed to do it lying down if you do not chant out loud. Never chant out loud when you're lying down because it drains your energy, okay? But it's okay to do it sitting up. Uh, some people have significant back pain, they have to do it lying down, that's fine. But do it silently. Um, Kristen has made a post, pay attention to it. Uh, when I come back to it regarding uh, where to place our hands, she's a little, <laughs> a little excited, a little ahead of me there on placing this post. But it's good because you need to refer back to it about where you place your hands under certain conditions, okay? So we'll come to that in a minute. Um, sound power, Wong Ar Hong. Body power, I'll show you in a moment. Mind power is creative visualization. This is three of the four powers. Mind power is where is our mind? What are we focusing on? When we chant for the upper and then the middle and then the lower part of the body, what are we doing with these four powers? We're condensing and focusing vibrational frequency, which causes the imbalanced vibrational frequencies in the spaces and in between the spaces to move. Eastern Chinese medicine works on a very simple concept. It says that uh, there is either insufficient or excess energy in the areas of the body. Therefore, they use acupuncture needles, massage, herbs, many different modalities to help move the qi. When qi flows, blood follows. We will be moving the qi. But one of the reasons why qi does not move is because in the spaces and in between the spaces, the, the cells are not vibrating in natural and healthy balance, in a 50-50 um, uh, uh, pure balance. And so when we use the four powers, what are we doing? We're including all of them to cause a vibration in the area which in essence moves the chi and then the blood follows and accordingly somehow we start feeling better. So it sounds very simple, but the best part is you'll be able to validate it yourself through the practice, okay? Um, the fourth power is one of the most important ones and is called soul power. For those that are new, just tuning in for the first time, soul power is the most important of the four powers. If you don't remember anything else, remember that. Because when we uh, ask the soul to assist, we can have significant results. Uh, small teaching on soul for all those that are new. There's outer souls, inner souls. If you came in earlier, you heard me call in and ask all layers of divine Tao and Source, Jesus, Mother Mary, all the Buddhas, all the healing angels. I ask them to come to serve. These are the outer souls. They come, they offer their blessings, assist us. The inner souls are those that no one really talks to. The souls of our heart, our organs, our systems, or in this case, our torso, our body, okay? And so when I walk you through the soul power, which I will do shortly, Pay attention to it because it's very, very important in the process of self-healing, all right? Um, now also, very, very important in Master Shah's wisdom and teachings, because all of this is Master Shah's wisdom and teachings. This mantra, by the way, is, quote, not his. It's, it's very ancient. It's been around at least 5,000 years. And um, uh, I had heard about it before from a different Chinese master before I ever met Master Shah. But soul power is something that he's brought to humanity. He is the first uh, and, and he's the leader in soul power. And so when you employ it, the same practice all of a sudden levels up a million fold in its success. Okay, so 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to now move the camera and raise, raise it so you can see me. Okay. Give me a minute. There we go. So you can see from here up, and this is where we're going to talk about the body power. So pay attention again to Kristen Rojas' post where she talks about if you have a glaucoma, a brain concern up here, a hyperthyroid, a, a hypertension, if you have activity basically in the top part of your body where things are blocked, okay, constant migraines, things of that nature, then you want to have your palms facing each other. Got it? I'll, tell you, I'll show you where in a minute. But your palms are going to be like this, about six to eight inches apart. If you do not have anything going on with the upper part of your body, hypertension, high blood pressure, anything of that nature, no brain traumas, no eye problems, anything of that nature, then your palms will be like this. One palm uh, up, both palms are up, again, about six inches apart. Now, where they'll be placed is here. The bottom palm is approximately navel height. That one is always facing up. Okay? You don't push it against your body. It's nice and relaxed. Your arm is relaxed. Your, your shoulder is relaxed. Again, you can do this sitting down or standing up. Either is perfectly okay. You can do it lying down, but please chant silently. Second palm, if you have any of the upper body conditions I just spoken of, and if you need to refer to them, look for Kristen Rojas' post. She lines them out there then you would place your palms facing each other. So any upper body problems, including, um, now this would not include chest blockages. It's okay with chest blockages. You want to clear those. I'm talking about head-related blockages, uh, eye, eye concerns, glaucomas, migraines, head-related issues, hypertension, high blood pressure. In that case, palms down. Otherwise, if that doesn't fit you, palm up, okay? I'm going to put my palms down because somebody might come in later and watch this, not hear this information, and then maybe uh, uh, create the wrong energetic conditions for themselves. So I want them to duplicate the safest condition, because I don't know what their condition is when they come in and watch this video at a later time, okay? But you do according to the instructions. This is your body power. For sound power, we're going to chant Wong Ar Hong. Now we chant it in one full breath. Wong Ar Hong in one full breath. I'll give you an example in a minute. Um, for the creative visualization, you will close your eyes and you're going to visualize light. You're going to visualize red and then white and then blue. Wong Ar Hong. You're going to visualize red and then white and then blue. So as we chant Wong, visualize red. As we chant R, you're going to visualize white. And as we chant Hong, you're going to visualize blue. If you can't do that, don't worry about it. Just keep your mind in your lower abdomen and just chant Wang or Hong. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, whatever's easy for you. Um, and for the soul power. Okay, so for one minute, please move your hands from the position I just taught you. Let's place our hands in the prayer position. Drop your left hand in front of your heart center, right hand pointed towards heaven. Very gentle. This is a hand mudra position, connects us, our heart to heaven. We're going to do the soul power now. So pay attention, especially if you're new. And if comfortable, repeat after me. Dear all souls that have been invited today to serve all the light beings, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Could you please bless me to clear blockages in my lower, middle, and upper body? I am very grateful. Thank you. Dear the soul of my lower, middle, and upper body, all my organs, all my systems, all of my energy centers, all my chakras, everything in my upper, middle, and lower body, I love you. You have the power to clear your blockages. You have the power to move the chi. You have the power to help me to feel better, healthier, and happier. Do a good job. Thank you. Okay? So that's soul power. We connected with the inner souls. Now, I will do a mantra one time through so you can hear it. And I want you to hear that I'm doing it all in one breath. 
okay? I'm gonna put my hands in the appropriate position. You do whatever uh, has been taught to you. Close your eyes. Your feet are about shoulder width apart if you're standing up. Again, you could be sitting down, but you do wanna have your back away from the back of the chair if you are sitting down, all right? <clears throat> and I will chant once through. Whoa. Join me. One more time. Okay. So we're going to chant together for about 15 minutes. Again, for those that just come in, the mantra is Wong, W-E-N-G, R-A-R, Hong, H-O-N-G. You can follow Kristen Rojas' post. She's listed additional information. Uh, also, for everyone, again, take note of uh, your uncomfortableness. Whatever pain you have, what is the number? Is it a 10 excruciating? Is it a five in the middle? Where is it at? If it's an emotion, what is the number? Choose something that's measurable. We're gonna chant and then afterwards you measure again. See where you're at. I'm checking the clock. Okay, good. <clears throat> I'm gonna chant for, like I said, we're gonna chant a long time. <clears throat> now this could, could cause you to feel a little lightheaded. Sit down chant silently if that happens, okay? If you're feeling a little lightheaded, sit down, chant silently. Keep your mind in your lower part of your body. We'll just do that simple for everybody. Just keep your mind in the lower part of your body. I'm gonna keep this simple so no one has any, um, any conditions. This is very powerful. Close your eyes, prepare. Let us begin. Whoa, if you're standing, keep your knees very slightly bent. Shoulders relaxed, palms relaxed, arms relaxed. Whoa.
see the light in your lower abdomen. Om If my breath is too long for you, silently do it with me. <clears throat> oh. of place. Chi running through a circle in your body. Those who do the practice longer have amazing results.
see the chi flowing through a circle in your body. time silently. your shoulders and your hands, connect to your body, keep your eyes closed, connect to your area of discomfort, what's happening with that area now, is it less, 
feel the chi in your body. Feel the vibration. Where is it at? What sensations are you experiencing? When you're ready, open your eyes and share. I'd like to read your comments about what you had requested, what was the level, what is it now? If you had any third eye images, feel free to share that as well. Okay, Kristen, um, it appears that you have pinned something. Okay, good, now I can see. So welcome Danta, welcome Elaine, welcome Nick Bado, and welcome Ulrich. Welcome Lucia, uh, welcome Shana, uh, welcome Angelina Vino, <coughs> welcome Paula Hyatt, welcome also Danette, welcome Rawita, and Carol Whitney, Vanessa Aleval, and, and also Taimia, welcome, and welcome also to uh, Shelly. So Shelly says, her head feels more clear and pure. Yeah, mine too. When I stopped, it was complete emptiness. Nothing. Just clarity. Gary Dougherty says, I'm down with severe cold. I think I need to practice this more. This is my first time trying. I agree, Gary. This will actually help you process through. San Jiao Chong Tong is, uh, San Jiao means three Jiaos. San means three. Jiao is space. Chong Tong means um, healing, I believe. And it's a mantra, Master Shah teaches, San Jiao Chuang Tong, which means clear the three spaces. So that's what we were doing, was clearing the San Jiao, the three spaces. So absolutely this will help you, Gary. No doubt about it. Chant silently if it's hard to chant. Welcome also to Francis. <coughs> so I'm waiting to read some of your comments about how this experience was for you. Um, I'm still vibrating. My, my upper body's doing some vibration. My sinus is cleared a little bit. Vanessa says, as she was chanting, the vibration was before. Um, feeling very emotional as previous comments about her sick family members. Been tearful to point where it couldn't talk properly. Uh, and um, And she would cry, but now her heart is more open. Patty G, she tuned in late, but she shared it on her page. Thank you. I hope you go back and, and do the entire chant. Heaven's fluid as well, says Kristen. Kathy Arnold, she made no request, but had trouble breathing, starting with tingling and then had hip pain, so she had to move. Then she started itching, so obviously things were moving for her. Welcome, Richard. Paula Hyatt, uh, she was given energy to her lower back, but noticed her very stiff neck is much more flexible, and her back feels better, too and a buzz with energy. Wow! Congratulations, Paula. Thank you for sharing. Welcome also to Jennifer Maria. I'll tell you, sometimes the most simple practices are the best. There are several of you that are my students on my uh, Open Spiritual Channels class. This practice um, is, is better than a cup of coffee every morning. This practice is something that if you did it in, in the morning and the evening uh, as part of your wake up and prepare you for a nice solid sleep, this would do it. <clears throat> because almost all of the physical illnesses in our body, the emotional illnesses, there are blockages in our three jowls. You know, we're basically a, a big block with a round head and these, these arms and legs sticking off of a big block. So all of our organs, all of our systems, all of the stuff that's relevant is in this block from the base of our torso to the top of our head. So when we chant these three tones, Wong Ar Hong, we are in essence clearing these areas, causing a circular feed. That's what the hand position does, causes a circular feed of the chi through these 
channels, through these blockages. Absolutely, Gary. Now, you can also um, find this if you YouTube Wang Ar Hong, as I spelled it out, Wang Ar Hong, on YouTube, you will find this is, is chanted by other masters, Master David, and I believe Master Shah has chanted it also. If you can chant this with Master Shah on YouTube, that's the best because his frequency and vibration is very, very high, much higher than mine. So if you chant with Master Shah, you'll have very good benefits. And I would absolutely put it on loop. It's very easy to loop a YouTube video. You just right click on the video and choose the word loop and it will go zoom, zoom, zoom. And you practice for a little while, you'll definitely be feeling better. Um, I think he has a video on there also under Master Shah for, for cold, uh, cold and flu. Uh, Shelley says, I think I'll try it daily. Thank you for this teaching, Master Paul. Yeah, you're very welcome. Welcome also to the new folks that have joined. If you came in late, <coughs> uh, we just finished about 12 minutes of chanting these three tones. I went over the body power, uh, the sound power, the soul power, and the creative visualization, the mind power. Also, the what, why, and the how we do this. So uh, if you missed that, like me, subscribe, and you can go onto my page and watch this recording again because I'm coming to the end at this point. So tomorrow, tune in, same time, same place. I will be offering similar uh, wisdom and teachings to assist us with clearing blockages at the level of soul, <coughs> heart, mind, and body to help us feel happier and healthier each and every day. Very simple, practical uh, wisdom and practices that will help you. So love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. See you soon.